camera. No, camera's over here. Hello. Welcome to January edition of Wake Up and Dream. Now, if you're just tuning in for the first time, never heard about this, I want you to do me a favor. In the description of this video, there's a link to my Facebook page. Go there, watch a Facebook Live entitled Wake Up and Dream 2018. I did it at the end of the year in 2017, but it gave a good foundational component to what my vision and heart is for this project for this year. Just to give you a recap, uh, you know, our society has made dreaming seem like a negative connotation. You always say things like in my wildest dreams or never in a million years would I ever have dreamt to do A, B, and C. And we put this uh, uh, negative thing on dreams to make it sound like they're unobtainable or that there's something that you can never go for. But really, I did some research and study on it and my heart was prompted to get on here and do these series of inspirational, motivational segments that just allow you to dream but in a different state. See, we dream when we sleep. Sleep means that you are your consciousness is partially suspended. And that's how we do life. We go through life in a partially suspended status, expecting our dreams to come to fruition and they never will. So instead of dreaming and sleeping, it's time to wake up and dream. And that's the goal of this year is to get your life awake so you can walk out into the manifestation of your dreams. What a better way to start this year off right at something that I want to consider this called the starting point. The starting point is absolutely imperative to anything that you do in the future or even throughout this year. So how fitting is it to talk about this in the month of January, the first month of 2018, to get you ready to own this year? Now, there are three simple things that you have to be prepared for throughout this year that I want to create for you as the perfect starting point for 2018. And number one is called revelation. A revelation of what? A revelation of yourself. It's the revelation of the value that is inside of you. Now, look back at all all these years of issues, hardships, trials that you face, and maybe even some that you're facing now. Look at how they didn't take you out, but look at how they made you a stronger person when the storm had passed. That means that you have a value. If you are watching this video today, that means that you have something inside of you that was greater than the storm that you went through. That's value. You have value inside of you. And sometimes we don't ever take the time out to walk out the process of discovery of the value inside of us. So we just sit there mundane with an existence of an everyday cycle of our life, never really fulfilling any divine purpose that we have because we're stuck in this cycle. My goal for you is to get you in a starting point for January of this year where you start to investigate, study, and allow manifestation of the value that's inside of you. So once you come to a revelation of your value, you have to come to a realization. A realization of what? That you have a starting point. That you're never too young to begin and you are never too old to start. It doesn't matter what age category, what people say about you, what statistics say about you, any of that. All that matters is that you realize that you had a starting point and you are going to begin something. Begin walking out your dreams. Begin that business. Begin that, that organization. Begin the dreams. So once you come into a revelation of the value that's inside of you, you come into a realization that you have to begin something. And number three, you come into a resolution. This is the most important part because many of us come up to every year a New Year's resolution that never pans out. Or every time we come up to making up our mind to do something great and do something amazing. We start momentum fantastic, we get the ball going and then something happens, life happens, whatever it is, and the momentum stops. When you come to a resolution in your heart, that it doesn't matter where you're at in your life right now, as long as you know that you have something on you, a purpose that is left to be fulfilled, a desire that's left to be uh, uh, completed, an itch that's left to be scratched, then you have to realize that you have to start somewhere. The book of Job chapter 8, which is a great biblical principle that I've, that I've applied to every area of my life, says this in a specific translation that though the beginning may seem insignificant, the end will surely be greater. What that speaks to me is this. That means that even though sometimes your starting point may seem small, may seem dumb, may seem insignificant, may seem stupid, may, it may not, it's not going to match uh, what you see in the, as the end result. It's okay. It's not meant to be the end. If we went through a calendar year and started every year on January, ended every year on January, we would end up in the same spot we began. 
And that's not the purpose of realizing your value. That's not the purpose of coming to the revelation of your timing. That's not the purpose of your life. Your life is not designed to end in the same place you started. So do not despise your small beginnings, though they may seem insignificant, your end will surely be greater. You can't start a year in January and in January. You start a year in January and you end in December. And that's my goal is to shake your thought process a little bit for this month of January to realize that you're in a new month of a new year. This is a fantastic starting point for you to finally realize that you are significant, you're full of value, your life was on purpose, for a purpose, with a purpose, and you have something to fulfill and to walk out. Out. So one, come into a revelation of your value. Understand that you are an incredible, talented, gifted person that has so much to offer for this world. Number two, come into a realization that you're never too young to begin and you're never too old to start. And number three, bring a resolution in your own heart. Come into a resolution this year where you understand that you have to start somewhere. So it doesn't matter how small your beginning may feel, how insignificant your start may feel to you, you have to start somewhere. I want to encourage you with these few things, and I had an opportunity to minister at my home church a, lot, uh, a while ago regarding uh, some of these attributes, and they came back to my mind, and I just want to read a few of these things to you in hopes that it would help kind of push you into this year and realizing that January is going to be your starting point of a winning year. So we look at people like Sugar Ray Robinson, who came from a broken home, who came from um, poverty-stricken, all challenges facing him. He realized, one, came into revelation that he had value. He had a talent. He had something to offer. Two, he came into a revelation that he, you understand that you got to start somewhere. And three, he came into a resolution that what a better time than to start now. What are you waiting for? What excuses are you going to keep making this year that's going to prevent you from walking into everything that you're supposed to walk into? So someone like Sugar Ray Robinson, who was faced with all, all statistical odds against him, rose up, turned that whole situation around, became a four-time world champion, winning a history-winning streak in his boxing industry of 123 fights in a row with zero losses, stamping his name forever in history. You get people like Nola Oaks, who many of you may not know because she's not quote unquote famous, but she's absolutely famous for the workings that she had done in terms of her accomplishments. She saw she had value. She realized now is a be there's no better time to start than now. And she understood that you cannot despise your small beginnings. She is the oldest woman known in history to graduate with a high school diploma and she was 95 years old. Arthur Rubenstein, who was one of the greatest uh, musicians in his era, who performed a history-making musical piece at Carnegie Hall that went down in history, stamped his name in the music industry, was 89 years old when he made that performance. Bringing a little bit more home, you may understand um, this next topic that I'm going to discuss, but J. R. R. Tolkien who wrote his first fantasy series, went on to become a huge, huge empire of movies called Lord of the Rings, wrote that piece when he was 62 years old. What am I saying to you? I'm saying to you that if you are a young person watching this video, get excited because you've got a, a future full of potential ahead of you and so much that you get to walk out. If you are what we call seasoned individuals this year, understand this. You've got enough experience behind you to start and you've got a whole lot more to grow. Why not start now? If these people can do it at their ages, there's no excuse for you. If these people, even young individuals who make great accomplishments in life can do it, then there's no excuse for you. So I pose this question to you. What is your reason for not seizing January as your starting point and walking out your dream? Use January as a starting point to wake your life up, to bring your life back into a consciousness where you understand that there's something to fulfill. You're not going to fail. Let me tell you this. The only way that you will fail is if you refuse to fulfill the destiny that is on your life. That is the only way that you will fail. Other than that, there is no failure. There's learning opportunities. But you will ultimately fail if you refuse to not start. So look at January 2018 and realize that you've got something in you that this world needs. Realize that there is no better time than now to start and understand that you cannot despise your small beginnings. I don't care the lack of finances that you deal with. I don't care about the lack of resources that you feel that you need in order to start your business or start your organization or start your, your, your uh, ministry. It doesn't matter. 
Why? Because everything you need is already inside of you. That's the value point. Your only reason why you're not walking out everything that your life is supposed to walk out is because you choose not to start. Choose to start. Now I'm excited. This is what I want you to do. Check out the description of this video. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow me via my website because I'm going to be revlogging these videos through there. That's ryanguillenonline.com. Ryan, G-U-I-L-L-E-N, online.com. Now through the rest of this year, as we bring you these monthly inspirational components for Wake Up a Dream 2018, I'm going to be bringing some people on, sharing some 5, 10 minute extra little pick-me-ups throughout this entire year, but I guarantee you it is going to be an amazing year and you're going to finish this year stronger, you're going to finish this year bigger, you're going to finish this year better and bolder than what you started this month. I guarantee it. Thank you so much for tuning in for January edition of Wake Up and Dream 2018. I'm looking forward to February. It's going to be a great year. God bless.